I just want to make a public announcement. The Holy Rosary Catholic Church is not having spaghetti dinner tomorrow. We usually have it on uh, election day, but we're foregoing that. Oh, thank you. Anybody else? Yes, sir. I, I got a question. Ray Zaney, uh, Zaney Farm, 45 Zaney Lane. Um, the Turnpike Commission is their building are headed our way uh, across the back ridge. And uh, I know that they have been using explosives on the bedrock up, up the uprising road from us. Uh, we have not been contacted by them about any uh, uh, explosions that they're going to have down our way. And I was wondering, who do I talk to about this? Because uh, right now we have uh, three springs on our farm on the house side of the road, as well as one well. And I'm concerned that if they start setting off charges right behind us, that uh, they may cause additional fractures to the bedrock in which there is a fracture in the bedrock, the property below us. And the property below us, when they try to drill a well, they made three failed attempts because their drill uh, fell down into the bedrock fracture, and then they had to move their well over just 10 feet off of our property line in order to get a well for their property. And I'm worried that if they start setting off explosions back there, they may cause further or additional fractures in that bedrock, and we may lose our spring water, which two of the springs feed livestock, and one of the springs uh, feeds the main house on the property, and we also have a well for the secondary house on the property. Where would you prefer that the township contact them on your behalf, or would you rather have our contacts name and uh, hear for yourself on what they intend to do in your area and what kind of notifications they plan to give? Which is better? Don, which would be more effective? Thank you. I'll contact the representative of the Turnpike Commission. I'll get them in touch with you. Great. Right. Have they responded when you have, you've asked them to contact the resident who had a concern? Have they responded? They're, they're uh, Consultants are very responsive to yeah, that. Said that may be part of the next phase of construction. It's uh, expected to be advertised in January. If that is the case, um, they'll have a meeting, a public meeting, to, the, to uh, discuss their plan of lasting operation. So, and my understanding, Don and I uh, attended a meeting a couple months ago. Uh, the next uh, phase of uh, construction is supposed to be done in January of 2018. And then another one in April of 2018, which would impact the uh, Ford Road area. So I would expect that uh, when that happens, that they'll coordinate that the turnpike will make a public announcement uh, to all residents uh, about their lasting operation. But we can get a hold of them. Yeah, he's a large track. track. It's, it's uh, at least it's giving them information. Right. Right. Anybody else? Comments? Yes. Supervisor Castillo, at the last um, meeting, you mentioned that you were going to send an apology letter to Coach Tomlin. Yes. Which had that been sent? Yes, it was. And can we share it with the group? Um, do we have a group? I do. 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 Bear with me a second while we pull it up. Can I ask another question in, in regard to that? You also had mentioned that you were planning on having sensitivity or diversity training for elected officials. Yes, everyone in the township and all our staff and uh, Don, I know you already have something in mind. Yes, I've already been talking with an individual that actually worked in Pittsburgh Pirates. Okay. 
and uh, we've had numerous conversations. We're, we're working out scheduling. Okay, so how will that go forward? Like when somebody else is um, elected, how? I, I think that would be have to that would maybe have to be a policy. Well, right now, my directive is for all standing officials, our employees, and we'll also offer. Although we cannot compel our to participate, a lot of them have already indicated. A lot of members have already indicated that they would like to participate. So we'll offer that to those those individuals as well. Okay. As far as moving forward with future officials, that would have to be a policy decision made by the board. Okay. Are there anybody else any comments, questions? Dear Coach Tomlin, on behalf of the entire community in Cecil Township, we want to extend a profound apology for the racial slur made against you by the now former fire chief. The comments were reprehensible and repulsive. While the, Cecil, the Township of Cecil is independent of, fire, of the fire department administratively, we have a zero tolerance approach to this type of behavior from public officials in our community, regardless of to whom it was directed and whether or not it was, quote, on company time. The township will be pursuing sensitivity training for our elected, appointed, and volunteer officials so that this never happens again. We hope this terrible distraction is now behind all this. Most sincerely yours, Donald Junito Township and the Township of Cecil Board of Supervisors. Thank you. Quite a minute. No. Anything else from the board members? There will be no further business. This meeting is declared adjourned. I always thank you.